I'm, I have to admit, I'm absolutely exhausted. I have no energy. Um, I'm really hungry. Well, I just woke up here on day three and had a pretty good night's sleep. Still feeling a little tired. Sleeping on bamboo sticks is still not the most comfortable bed in the world, but it was dry and uh, away from the insects, so that was good. Uh, waiting for breakfast at the moment. I think Adam's cooking up some crab. So uh, crab meat for breakfast, which is quite good. Uh, not a huge amount, but enough to keep me going anyway. And then I think we're going off on a hunt for vegetation, um, so edible plants. Apart from that, I'm feeling all right. It's nice now when the sun's not up. One day left. So this uh, was last night's catch, and we got two big ones. This is one of them. It's really big. We'll get us uh, going, get us started. And then uh, we have some smaller ones as well, and those we're gonna use for fishing. Look at that claw! Yeah, good boy. Okay, so this is Adam preparing breakfast for us. We've been cooking them on the fire. And there we have it, breakfast. So the meat is, almost everything is either in the claws or in their backside. And you just pull them out like this and you get all the meat here. Like that. Yeah, so this is the meat. You should take out some of the intestines maybe, but uh, there's some good meat in there as well. Got some great food, really looks nice, doesn't it? And yeah, the finest food on this one is in the claws, looks like this. Yeah, tastes, tastes really good. The, we kind of made a path here, it was highly veg vegetated before, but cut a path here. So when we walk here in the night we won't get like snake bites and bug bites and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks from the side. And there we have a bottle of uh, leaf tea. Uh, the leaf on the, on the tree right up here. It's actually edible. Taste, uh, some of them taste better than others. Depends on the leaf, but yeah, there's there are some vitamins and um, minerals in them. So we boil them with the water, and we get a nice, a nice tea. Right. Well, we are out trekking, uh, looking for edible plants and roots and stuff like that. And uh, so far, we think we found something. It's like a taro. Yeah, a taro, exactly. Yeah. Um, and apparently you can eat the root of this, so yep. we're going to bring it back and cook it and see what it tastes like. Yeah, I think you can boil this and then hopefully it tastes like a potato, but we need some more, obviously. <laughs> uh, it's a long way up. There's nothing but the beach and a cliff mountain, so uh, or a cliff face. So we just climbed up the cliff uh, looking for vines using uh, what we know as references to look for leaves, specific leaves that we know like uh, the sweet potato plant, which has a leaf that looks kind of like an oak leaf, so that's what you're looking for in vines. Tapioca, which has a leaf that kind of looks like cannabis, so we're looking for that. 
yeah, I haven't managed to find those yet, but we've got loads of these other roots. Um, and uh, lots of them, really big ones, so we're feeling hopeful about that. Then take them back, boil them up, and uh, see what they taste like. Lunchtime! Terror! So this is the water bottles we use to boil water. I've shown you them already, but we use the three same bottles all the time. Uh, so yeah, plastic bottles are perfect to boil water. Okay, so we're out fishing. Haven't seen a fish in like an hour though. I got my crab cage or yeah down there. Haven't worked at all so far far, but still a try. And then uh, now we got some fish fish rods here with uh, three hooks on it and uh, crab meat on it. No nothing here either and it got some crab meat on it as well uh, half an hour ago I lost some meat to some fish but uh, only a nibble took the took the meat and then left nothing it's a fair day we need some food soon to get our energy up and uh, Hopefully we'll have some fish tonight. Hey guys! Hey! Oh, oh shit! Whoa, it's a lot of fish! Yeah. Well, looks like lunch is boiling nicely. Alright, it's uh, afternoon of day three and uh, feeling a bit more positive, a bit more energy now. Uh, the mornings are always tough. It's really hot and not that much sleep. But now I'm getting my energy back and uh, we're boiling some roots for lunch. So that should be good, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, just taking in this beautiful island. Okay, so we just finished eating the food today this uh, we cooked it and cooked it and cooked it and cooked it it stings if you don't cook it and uh, your throat burns and uh, yeah I actually when I touch it with my hands my hands kind of hurt and it keeps going for like half an hour so attention most edible taros has irritating needle-like crystals and must be cooked to dissolve it. Undercooked taro root and taro leaves can cause extremely unpleasant itching in your mouth and also on your skin. So it's the last night for us here on the island. Uh, in about 20 minutes we will start getting some crabs for tomorrow's breakfast. And at noon tomorrow hopefully the boat will come and pick us up. So this is us out looking for hermit crabs, which is what we've been eating for breakfast. Today we have my phone. We pick them up at night and uh, eat them in the morning. <laughs> 